Roy, how would you describe Liam as a person and as a player? Um, obviously, very good player. Played for United, Celtic. Obviously, his country. Uh, really nice guy, quiet guy, very humble. And I think uh, we're all delighted to be here. Obviously, looking forward to the game. Great occasion for his um, his family. And uh, it's been a great reaction, obviously, from the from everyone in Ireland, particularly around Cork. And from the players, so we're um, no, we're looking forward to it. Well, can I ask you? Obviously, there's a great relaxed uh, atmosphere already with the parents and the banter. What was it like travelling on the bus with the lads and coming through the tunnel there? Memories? No, it was lovely. Yeah, no, it was very nice. As you said, the the reaction from everyone has been fantastic. I've been obviously home for the last few days. There's a nice nice buzz going around, which is nice, obviously. Um, and uh, I think the. Good to catch up with the players again, yeah, obviously relaxed atmosphere, but I, strange enough, I'm sure when we start the game, I know what the players are like, a bit of pride kicks in and would want to do well. I think they're all a bit shocked by the size of the pitch, um, <laughs> but they'll get over it. Sorry? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did it feel for you to be able to bring these players to your home city for this trip? That's great, that's great, honestly, it's fantastic. Uh, from uh, from all the players, it's been fantastic. Uh, I'll be honest with you. In the last few months, chasing fellas up, but of all the reaction from the players has been fantastic. And I've said that come back the last few months. The, the respect I had for Liam and the fact that they're all here, looking forward to the match. Should be a great atmosphere, and uh, hopefully something we can we can all enjoy, and particularly Liam's family. Roy, can I ask what significance do the players? You understand the significance of the venue. The other I think so, yeah. They, listen, the players are not daft. They know what. Um, it's obviously at the GA Stadium. I know there was a, you know, a big reaction when we maybe couldn't get it when we first asked. But um, I think the players are going to look forward to it, and and that all adds to the occasion. Ryan, there's a sense that there's history being really laid out there today that you know soccer players out here and the home of Cork football. You're part of history today. That's great, and I think that all adds to it. And um, yeah, it makes it even more special. We're looking forward to it. Obviously, come down here, come down to the park for many years, watching the football and the hurling, and um, one or two concerts. So the fact we're having a game of soccer today, uh, it's great. It really adds to it. I know you're in touch with. I know you're in touch with Claire and Liam Miller's family. Can you put into words what this means to you and perhaps what this means to them today? Well, hopefully it's a big boost to the family. And obviously, the, Liam's wife and his kids and his mum and dad and the rest of his family. Hopefully they can come down here and um, and get a big boost. When you see the reaction from everyone in Cork to Liam, um, obviously it's not going to fix everything, but it will just hopefully make him feel a, a little bit better about what people think of Liam. And that's the whole idea behind the game. Roy, did you ever play here with Maybe community school, GA, or maybe no, I ran down here for the school. I ran for my school in St John's, yeah, and um, it didn't go too well. Brian, <laughs> <laughs> David, what do you remember of Liam? Amazing. I, well, I only know uh, speaking to the other lads. Um, just a great lad. Enjoyed the crap. Um, obviously, he's a good player. Um, and it's a fitting tribute now that you've sold out the stadium. Um, for a fantastic cause as well, and um, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be a great day, great occasion. Be emotional, I'm sure it will as well. But um, it's all for a great cause, and um, you know that's why we're here. Ryan, what are your memories of him? Yeah, obviously a good player um, and a good career at Celtic, and come down with us at United. Um, and again, yeah, a good lad, quiet lad, um, but talented, and yeah, just echo what the lads have said. It's it's a great occasion for. For, for his family, um, and it just shows, you know, football comes together at times like this, and um, you know we're all looking for for what is going to be an emotional occasion. Well, is this a match confirmed here? I mean, there are people from all codes of sport and all corners of the country going to be at the game today. So has it been unified? In the I think so. Yeah, but we're, we're lucky to have it in Cork. Anyway, Cork is obviously a great sporting city for for all types of sports. So I think the venue is absolutely brilliant, and um, again the reaction from everyone, not just in Cork, from a lot, as you said, a lot of people travelling, um, travelling from England, from, from all over Ireland, it's absolutely brilliant. We just hope now the weather holds out, and the football is decent, and uh, and that we win. <laughs>
fantastic football stars like Pizzi Garcia here. So I, what do you say about those people who make the effort to come over here? And to Brilliant, but the, 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 the people you see here today, they're the... They're the ones I, I knew would turn up. Really great lads. Unfortunately, other lads, there was one or two injuries over the last month or two. Um, but I was fortunate to play with some brilliant players, absolutely brilliant players. But more importantly to me, were brilliant, brilliant fellas. Just like Liam was. OK, we all get bogged down by what they do on the pitch. Obviously, that's what we're paid to do. But it's what lads do away from the pitch. And the, the two lads here next to me, you know, brilliant lads, great teammates to have. And, um, and I, I, I think we're all looking forward to the day. We, we really are. And um, you know, we'd be glad when the referee blows the whistle and we, and we can start the match. Uh, are you going to have to win again? Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's what we're born to do. So that's what we try and do. And, um, but of course, easier said than done. Depends how gigs he plays. <laughs> Brian, what's it like being back with your former teammates? And it's a couple of years since you played. Who's the best player now among you all? Cheers, Ryan. <laughs> you'll see in about, you'll see in about four or five minutes. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we've all changed shapes and sizes over the last few years. Um, <laughs> um, but no, I mean, there's still talent. You'll see it today. There's still talent. You, you don't lose certain stuff. Maybe we won't be able to get up and down the pitch as quick, but... Um, yeah, um, maybe I'll tell you after the game, rather than before, you just never know. Has he picked you to start? Yeah. Pardon? Has he picked you to start? He has, yeah. He has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? So, no, no, no. So, How's the body? I'll tell you at about 5 o'clock. Yeah. Does the record um, attendance for a charity thing like this? I'm not sure. No, I think there's been some. Uh, yeah, I think there's been some games over. Certainly at United, and I think up Celtic Park, there's been some big occasions. Um, but this obviously is still special here in Cork, of course. Right, uh, Michael Flynn mentioned in the match program there might have been a usual reunion between yourself and Alex Ferguson if he was able to make it today. Yeah, pity. Um, um, would, it, would it have happened? Um, well, if he was here, then obviously it would have happened. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Maybe another time. If he's lucky. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Um, I think that uh, probably. Uh, oh, well, I think if it's a draw, it's going to go to. There's going to be a penalty shootout. But if we get a penalty during the game, uh, there's good competition. I say Giggs, you might fancy it. Dennis Irwin wasn't bad on the old set pieces. Scolzi. If we're winning three 0 I'll take it. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> <No, no, no. laughs> What does it mean for you, I suppose, as a cockman, to be playing in Parky Cueve itself, the home? It's great. As I said, I've been coming down there for years, watching a lot of the hurling, the football, and it's nice. Yeah. And um, obviously, I, as I said, I think the lads are, the, the pitch is a lot bigger than what we're, we're used to. But uh, even coming down the bus there, nice, nice atmosphere. I think there's been nice buzz to Cork the last few days. I've been back, and um, I think everyone's looking forward to it. As has been mentioned, people from. All the different sports in Cork, you know, Cork people are good when they need to get together, and um, <coughs> hopefully they'll all enjoy it, and we'll, we'll do our best to try and entertain you're very, them. You're very fit looking in the beer. Thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you're not bad yourself. No, I, I don't gigs yes. No, no, it's all right sitting here, but it's twisting and turning and hitting people. That's that's where the problem's going to be. So, um, as I said, you you might see a, a different state of us at about five o'clock. Yeah. Well, Sorry? No, that was, believe it or not, that, that was a joke. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we did send it out, but obviously Maisie didn't get it. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Kept no. bouncing back. The email kept bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know the players are. The, the players will be fine. Ryan, can I ask? There's another Cork man playing. We mentioned him there, Dennis Irwin. How great was he as a Cork man at Manchester United with Roy? How, how good was Dennis Irwin? Yeah, especially for me, um, early on in my career. You know, a young left winger um, with him behind me. Uh, the experience they had. Just a, a brilliant footballer, um, so consistent, and he had that little bit extra as well, where he could score goals. You know, penalties just mentioned free kicks. 
and um, a great guy as well. So especially for me personally, early on in my career, he was a he was a big help. Ryan, um, events like this, I know you've lost close friends in in, in the river area as well. Does it does it kind of give you a greater appreciation of what you had when you played the game? How privileged you were to be able to play professional football at the highest level? Yeah. To play, you know, first of all, to do something that you love doing, you would have done anyway as a job. You're fortunate, but yeah, you see people, you see ex teammates who have bad injuries and um, have had to retire early um, or worse. You know, it's, um, yeah, of course, and it's moments like this that you, you do appreciate how lucky you are. And um, yeah, um, and I, I think everyone in the dressing room, you know, shares that, shares that emotion. Well, you mentioned him. Was a humble guy in some ways. Yeah. He would have been astonished that 45,000 people and all these players would come out. Uh, I mean, it's an extraordinary yeah. thing. Uh, I really yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he, Liam will be delighted when he, he's looking at the reaction from everybody in Cork. But again, don't get us wrong. It, Liam was very quiet, but very, uh, very strong. You know, you, you don't become, you don't get to the very top at any sport unless you've got. Good confidence behind you, a lot of determination. Um, yeah, so when we talk about Liam being quiet, it was a nice quiet. You know, he was no angel, but he knew how to play the game uh, and, a, and a good guy. And um, we've seen that with the reaction over the last few months, particularly when the game was announced. It's been brilliant, and I'm sure Liam will be looking down and will be delighted, of course. Goes without saying. Yeah, I, I think you know it was a it was always a, a good dressing room to come into. Um, competitive, um, you know, you had to sort of uh, raise your standards very very quickly. We've seen that with a lot of talented players. It took some uh, longer than others, um, but it was a good dressing room to come into. Whether it be you know the likes of Roy, who's a lot more vocal, or the likes of Scalzi, who who led by example. Um, you know, you have different people you look up to. Um, whether it be in your position or someone who you just um, you know instantly connect with. Um, so it was it was always a good dressing room to come into, and um, you know obviously Liam was part of that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.